Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we'll be talking about how you can access sites and stream shows only available in Japan with the help of VPNs. I'll also give my top picks that I consider ahead of their competition and have been fully proven to successfully access Japanese websites and shows. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of the VPNs I'm about to mention a try, I'll drop discount links available in the description down below to help you save some extra money that you wouldn't be able to save by going just to the regular website. Now, in order to access Japanese shows and websites, you'll need to find a reliable VPN service that actually has a lot of servers in Japan. The more servers the provider has, the better. Now, I know it might be a hassle to look into all VPNs and their server lists, so later in this video, I'll be recommending three of the best services that I've tested and found them to be capable of accessing Japanese content, so stay tuned. Once you've settled on a service provider, download their app App and finish the setup process by following the installer instructions. It's really easy. Then log in using your credentials. Also, for demonstration purposes, I'll be using ExpressVPN. Once you're logged in, search for Japanese servers, click on one, and simply press the connect button. You can't miss it. Once you're connected, your internet traffic will be routed through that server, and your IP address will appear as if you're located in Japan. This is going to mean that any website or online service that you access will see your location as Japan, giving you access to content that's only available available in Japan. Now, it is important to note that not all VPN services are capable of doing this, and after a lot of testing, I've narrowed down the list of VPNs that were capable of accessing Japanese content to ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. So let me tell you a bit more about these three VPNs. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. And this is going to be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN and it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN. And Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blocks ads, malware-ridden websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. 
ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is the ideal choice for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions. Features such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. So that's gonna be it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of the VPNs that I mentioned, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews, of course, if you wanna learn more about it in the description down below. And feel free to comment if you have any questions. I really like getting to answer as many questions as I can. Like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or you'd like to stay up to date with our future videos. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one.